Okay, so when I saw this case in the context of its citation or case law, my understanding is that it was making a 14th Amendment claim regarding how a legal filing is actually uh, property and is protected under the 14th Amendment. But I haven't read it yet. I haven't read Look at this. This is what it says. A state... In view of the basic position of the marriage relationship in our society and the state monopolization of the means for dissolving that relationship, due process of law prohibits a state from denying, solely because of inability to pay court fees and costs, access to its courts to indigents who, in good faith, seek judicial dissolution of their marriage. Um, does that also apply to the state's monopolization of criminal prosecution? Does that also apply to an understanding of people who, in good faith, seek judicial uh, remedy through the courts to prosecute criminal cases, including in connection with inability to pay court fees and costs? See, if you're prosecuting on behalf of the state, the state pays for the court fees and costs. But if the state has a monopoly on criminal prosecution, it refuses to pay the case, then does this case provide a precedent for saying that the state cannot interfere with or deny you access to the courts when it comes to seeking a judicial remedy in the form of criminal prosecution?